The first place we wish to start our mathematical investigation into knowing ourselves is with what is right in front of us, our two hands. Your two hands are segmented beautifully and simply to reveal some fundamental mathematical principles and numbers. Your fingers are naturally divided into 28 phalanges, or bone segments, with three on each finger and two on each thumb, giving 14 for the left hand and 14 for the right hand, coming together to be a total of 28. We can also find the numbers 2 and 8 in 28 with our two thumbs and eight fingers. It's also important to note here that the word digit comes from the Latin word digitus, which literally means finger, further emphasizing the importance of the mathematics of one's hands. This number 28 that we find on our two hands is directly connected to the moon. The moon goes through its phases between full moon to full moon in a roughly 28-day period. We all know that women's menstrual cycles are tied to the moon, with a woman's period happening roughly every 28 days. Since it is this cycle that brings each and every human being into this plane of existence, it is most astonishing and certainly not coincidental that both the moon and your two hands reflect the periodicity of such a fundamental human biological cycle. What's more is that the day of ovulation can be found on the human hands as well. And this comes from mdhealth.com, and it says, How to determine the most fertile day. The first day of a woman's period is taken as the starting point of the cycle, and if the cycle is a 28-day cycle, then the 14th day after a period is estimated to be the ovulation. Which means that the egg drops in a woman's reproductive period right between the number of digits of one's hands. 14 for the left and 14 for the right, and on the 14th day, the egg drops. Now, of course, ovulation does not always happen exactly 14 days after menstruation, but we can easily see and deduce that there is a fundamental template centered around human growth, and it is very clearly focused around the numbers 14 and 28, numbers found on your two hands. The number 28 leads us to another number that is very significant in mythology, spirituality, and metaphysics, and that being the number 7. Using simple addition on the numbers 1 through 7, 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6 plus 7, just walking up our number line, we find the number 28, very clearly showing the importance of the number 7 within the human experience. It hardly needs to be mentioned here how many times the number 7 shows up in our world. Seven days a week? Seven stars in the Big Dipper, seven sisters in the Pleiades, seven days of creation in Genesis, seven branches of the candelabrum, cultures the world over from Hindu, Irish, Kashi, Buddhist, Christian, Islamic, you name it, culture after culture have noted a special significance to the number seven. Why? Well, it is really no secret to see why when we simply use addition on the first seven numbers in our number line, adding up to be the 28 phalanges of our two hands. There are seven notes of the major scale. A, B, C, D, E, F, and finally resting on G. These seven major notes on a grand piano create seven and one-third octaves, totaling 88 keys. This auditory spectrum is basically the range that human beings can comfortably hear. You play these 88 keys with your 28 phalanges, and 88 divided by 28 is 3.142, an approximation and widely used abbreviation of the infinite and transcendental number of pi, or 3.1415. Pi is a vastly important constant in mathematics and something we will be covering more in just a bit. The 88 keys of a grand piano divided by the 28 phalanges of your hands giving us pi gives us a little insight into just why it is called a piano. There are 7 notes of the major scale and 12 notes of the chromatic scale, with the 13th note being the octave. The number 13 and 28 can be used to construct a calendar. A calendar of 13 months and 28 days per month, creating a 364-day year, with an extra non-calendrical day added each year, 
allows for an easy link up to the solar calendar. The brilliance and simplicity of this calendar is that every day and month is the exact same as the previous year, something amiss in our current Gregorian calendar. The mathematics of this calendar is found cleverly encoded within the popular Mayan Chichen Itza temple, as well as in the common deck of cards. The number 13 can be found on the human body as well, with the major joints allowing for movement summing to 13, with those being two ankles, two knees, two hips, two shoulders, two elbows, two wrists, and one neck, totaling 13. These 13 joints with your 28 phalanges of your hands constructs a lunar calendar. 13 times 28 equals 364. The number 364 unveiled to us in a 13-month, 28-day calendar is found hidden in a bunch of different places. Have you ever gone to the slots and pulled them down hoping for that lucky jackpot of triple seven? Why are triple sevens considered lucky? Well, doing a little math reveals to us that seven times seven times seven equals 343, and seven plus seven plus seven equals 21, and 343 plus 21 sums to 364. The exact same number created by a 13-month, 28-day calendar, with this calendar created by the human body. But it doesn't end there. The human baby is born with 20 baby teeth and the adult set of teeth number 32, which means that your 20 baby teeth and your 32 adult teeth sum to 52, which is the number of weeks in the year. How about this one? Each human foot has 26 bones, which means that when you have both feet planted firmly to the ground, there are 52 bones that allow you to walk on this mother earth. Once again, equivalent to the number of weeks in the year, with 7 times 52 equaling 364. One last little mathematical gem we're going to cover here is incorporated into the human body and is found in the skull. The skull is composed of 22 bones, 14 make up the facial bones, and the remaining 8 compose the cap. These 22 bones ultimately create 7 orifices, 2 eyes, 2 ears, 2 nostrils, and 1 mouth. 22 bones of the skull divided by 7 orifices is, once again, 3.142, an approximation of the number pi.